So it is a nice size, a little personal watermelon. Okay, let's take it inside and cut it open. And as soon as I stuck the knife in it, it did this. So let's see. Oh my God, it smells so sweet. Let's see, can I cut this? Oh, wow, look at that. It's beautiful on the inside and it smells so good. And look at all these seeds. I'm definitely harvesting these so I can grow again next year. Oh, wow. It's really sweet. Mmm. Really juicy. This is a keeper. Okay, so this watermelon did well in my Arizona heat. I did start them in March. And there are more growing on the vine now. I love the fact that it has a ton of seeds, but this watermelon is super sweet. Oh, it's real sweet on the lip. It smells like it's red. I'm used to that smell being on the red watermelon. Yeah. Mmm, that's good. That's a keeper, right? A lot of juice mm -hmm. and liquid. The seeds just slipping down. What do you think between the petite yellow and this one? I think this one's better. This one's better. Yeah. Boom. Real soft. Like crispy on it. Yeah, Shala said she didn't really like the texture because it was a little grainy. Like you want to change when you put it in cold. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. It's delicious. <laughs> okay, let's see how the chickens feel about Cajo watermelon. I think they approve. Girls, y'all approve? Girls and guy? <laughs>